you can easily get a lot of headshots, you know. And I know that doesn't sound right, but it's true, you know. You can shoot, if you hip fire, you, if you hip fire, or you full auto or shotgun, you have a very high chance of hitting a headshot. Like, you got that, and then there's missions that are just downright impossible. Like, get 65 kills at Team Deathmatch in less than 20 minutes. If you want to invite me, Aaron. I'm in a mission right now, unfortunately, otherwise I would. Alright. Yeah, I'll have to wait a little bit. Yep. Thankfully, I think this will be easy. Just collect the van and drive it back home. You collected the special cargo vehicle. Ooh. Yeah, that hot shots movie was fucking funny. <laughs> was that oh, your yeah, first? Was, totally. was that your first time watching, or were you seen it before? I've seen the movies before. Okay, cool. I was worried because I was like, "Oh, that's a reference to that. That's a reference to that." And, you know, I was just like, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> no, it was all good. Yeah, those movies are very pop culture mm. parodies and stuff. They, those are the kind of pop culture parody stuff I like when it's not overdone. Like, hey, look at that reference. Hey, look at that. It's like, I feel like the later comedy movies that people came out with are just got a little too overboard with it. And the worst ones were like the ones with the same people who did the scary movie series, epic movie, and disaster movie. Yeah, we don't talk about those directors. Those, those guys are kind of... They're not somebody you want to take inspiration from in Hollywood. Oh, God, yeah. no. Scary Movie 2 was fine, but it's not a good movie. It's definitely not a good movie. It has its moments of funny, but the first one was much better. It's one of those movies that came out at the right time. Right place, right time to do it. Scary Movie 2 was kind of like, okay, sure, I guess we can have a sequel. Then... Three, made, four, I know scary movie five. five was a thing, right? Yeah, there was the yeah, fifth I one. I saw it. It was it was terrible. I don't yeah. think anyone was expecting it to be good. I remember renting one. Which one was the one where they made fun of signs and the Incredible uh, Hulk? The third one. The third one. Yeah. It was the third one. Yeah. And the Incredible Hulk was in Disaster Movie. And yeah. here's the thing about Scary Movie Five. It was directed by the same guy who did Space Jam Two. Yeah, I don't exactly trust their judgment. I'll just say that much. You need something, huh? When he rides, Oof. let me know. It's coming at you. Yeah, scary movie three. I remember renting it at a rent rent a box. Those rent boxes. Nah, not my thing. It's like you're trying. You you're looking for something to laugh at, and maybe you get like a chuckle. At best, but at the same time, you, then you just you, you just kind of find yourself watching it, and you're just like, huh, hmm, okay. <laughs> like you, you, it's like where where's the funny? They're just name dropping shit. <laughs> All right. It, but the thing about the Hot Shot movies, at least they don't just do pop culture references. There's the old clever original jokes. Like, you know, the, the slash... Like, like, they're very subtle, you know? It's like... It's it's not over the top. It's not too stupid. It doesn't, like, happen every five minutes. It's... it's They just kind of slowly put the joke in there, you know? And it's like, ha that's clever. It's one of those kind of things. You know? Alright, I'm here. Alright. So, so, he's ready? Anything At least they thought. still, you know... Probably, you know, concentrate on the plot. Yeah. Might hop on uh, Fallout a little later. Yeah, we still gotta do the pits. Yeah. I'll wait we'll for. Get, we'll uh, get. Yeah. I'll kinda wanna we'll do it on the there. other account. I wanna do it on the fucking Elgato, though. It's like. It just means we have to switch to Discord. 
Yeah, because if I do it on if I do it on the the, the main one I like, it's like I'm gonna be constantly stopping to hit the record because of the stupid one hour limit. It's like I'll be recording every thirty minutes. I'll have to keep like a timer. Wait for Ollie. Yeah, I try to get a little back in. It's all good. I was on vacation. Oh, so I left a, co a couple of nice comments uh, for, for, for uh, one of your recent videos since GTA Online uh, to this uh, title one you did. Hello. Hello. Taking it hey, easy I on GTA at the moment. I'll do wrestling later. Alright. What'd you say? Oh, I said I'll do wrestling later. I'm, I'm chilling on GTA at the moment. Eh, no worries, I'm not. Right. Cool, cool. Probably just I'll I'll just vibe on Xenoverse two until you're ready. All right. So the new season, so the, so the season end event is on as at two a.m. this time. I think so. I could be wrong what? though. The what? Fortnite season just ended. The servers are down at the moment. So if there's anything you had to do, it's uh, it's too late now. Oh, that's fine. I had nothing to do. Of course. <laughs> like a, like, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah was I really going to do anything? There we go. I'm hiring my friends. Because I'm a good boss. And I pay well. $10,000 uh, a day is not enough. Oh, shut up. Oh you my god, you. save yourselves. All right, we're gonna go collect some uh, some cargo. Here we go. Or some cars. We get some cars. Here we go. All right. Oh wait. Wait. Ooh, special. You want to do special go. vehicle uh, work again? Ooh, that would be nice. Let's do it again. Now, Ollie. So I think we missed our chance. What? What turns out, turns out the geniuses in the server didn't put it in right. It ends at 2 a.m. Eastern time, which is 11 p.m. on Saturday, which was an hour ago. Wait, okay. so it's up already? Which was an hour ago. Bullshit. So it's already going on then? I'd say either it's, either it's going on or it's come and went. Oh, yeah. Make make an announcement on the thing. I guess I'll I'll have to check That's it out. What what's what Dumb is asses. it? Fortnite thing is ended. The the chapter or whatever the vibin thing is over. Now there's a new one called Chrome or Party or whatever it is. So there's a trailer right. drop and everything. Chapter. Wait a minute. Chapter three has ended already. No. No. The chapter three part, whatever this is, the vi whatever the oh, vibing thing, whatever the vibing Season. thing was, it's over, and now they're gonna start the new one. So the new one is probably up and running. I thought it was at two a.m. because it's always they've always they've been known to fucking drop two a.m. Eastern time, which for me is eleven p.m., which means we've missed it's we've missed it. Oh, I missed it by an hour then. Wrong way. I'm in no hurry, because, like, we got the wrestling thing. So it's like, oh, yeah, guys, it's actually 2 a.m. Eastern time, me strangling Raz in the corner. <laughs> I'm sorry, I put the wrong thing for Kim B. Never! <laughs> so it's already I just, up I then. Just to, I, just to, I just turned to Joe Swanson. Never! Start bashing his head against the table. Yeah. Oh God. So uh, yeah. Felix has VR chat, and it was actually kind of awesome hanging out with him. Not gonna lie. Yeah, Morgan's a fun guy. Yeah. So, oh, you know, I don't know why, but you just reminded me. I don't know how this reminded me of this place. Um, but... Get ready to jump, guys. We're going in hard. Ready, jump. Diggity. Wee. Oh yeah, like true professionals as I crash into a street lamp.
<laughs> All right, that, that's and okay. And your helicopter let, crashed into the ground. Eh. I would have laughed if that landed on the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll take the ramp car again. Or do you want to switch? Do you want me to drive the SUV? Or no? I think I, I can drive. Alright, I'll... Alright then. Okay. You know the... You know the deal. Hey, did you get the, uh, service car on? No, I've been busy. Why? It looks like you had it. I know... I know, uh, Ollie from one part of it, but I didn't finish it. I think I, think I still got, like, three more to go. Like I said, I've been working on the wrestling stuff and some some other things. Watch out for any falling cars. <laughs> You'll probably see a ton of them while I'm driving ahead. I just saw one. I need to. I want to buy this damn thing. This looks like so much fucking fun. I'm on my day off, and I'm doing this for you. Blue jeans. You gotta work for your money, Zach. No cheating. Because money doesn't just fall on money. trees. I am... I am actually, admittedly, a little bit agitated for my mother right now. What happened? She wants... She wants me to get up for church. Now, now here's the thing. I don't mind... I'm, I want to go to a late, later mass, but she wants me to go to the morning one. I'm like... I got. I had work today. I'm tired. My knees just bleed in. Aren't you a grown adult and can make your own decisions? <laughs> yeah, I'm probably. I told. I told her this. If I wake up feeling crappy, and I actually spend the whole day in bed after church, I am not doing it again. I. That's when I'll put my foot down and tell her I am not ready to go back to church yet. And if, if you're just gonna, and if you're not gonna let me go to, you know, my usual time. And I'll just... I am... Put your big boy pants on and be like, Mom, I'm a grown man. I will go to church. I'll, st uh, I'll see Jesus when I want to see Jesus. <laughs> be careful, though. Some parents... Some parents who are feeling uh, jilted when you use that, they will go the full nine yards. Oh, okay. You're an adult now, so we'll treat you like an adult. Which means... And they start handing down more brutal... Uh, punishments befitting of a fellow adult living in their house under their rules. Oh, they can't really, they can't really do a lot to me if I'm being honest. A lot of the stuff I buy now is paid for by me, so anything so if they were to do anything, you know, I can eat, I can tell them they're gonna have to pay for it. I would love for you guys to try to get into a a an argument of semantics with my father. I would just love to see how that would go over. What does your old man do? Does he like? Does he just like? Does he like tell you that even if you pay for it? Amazing. Uh, even if you pay put, for it, it's... I'll put it to you this way. Say for example, he wants me to do something. I say no. He gets mad at me. Oh, I, I continue. I, I continue. I continue to refuse to do what he wants. He says. He says Ollie's either. Late. He says either okay, your rent's Let's just go gone ahead. up, or or he'll just or he'll just cut off everything. He's the kind of guy where I live yeah, in his house, ahead. so essentially he has me underfoot. Hmm. And he aims to keep it that way. I told my there's a lot of things my parents let me have leeway with, but I told the, the church is like. You know, I'm the part of the reason I stopped going to church was because it just added on to the stress. Like my parents are like, "Well, you'll feel better," and it's like I don't fucking feel better. I feel, I feel more weight on my back. You know, because suddenly I need to commit to this. You know, yeah. Part of the reason why I, I can't I blame going. you, dude. I don't want to go to church. Well, well, then you're gonna go to hell. Well, there's well, Satan better warm me up a seat. I feel like the people who don't go to church have a better chance of finding of going to heaven, you know? Because at least we're not assholes about, you know, religion. I was actually sent to a, um... I was actually sent to a fucking, uh, Bible camp one time in the summer because my dad was so desperate to send me off to a summer camp. Jesus. 
he sent me to a fucking Bible camp, and I am an atheist by nature, so I'm not religious, so... What do you think happened when everyone there found out I was an atheist? Either Freaked sound. out. <laughs> no, take a wild guess. They lost their minds. Strung, were, you, were you strung up? Were you strung up at, on a cross for everyone to see? Right. <laughs> no, they were trying to... They were trying to open my eyes to the Lord and all that stuff, and I'm just like, oh, God. There was even one day where I asked, where I kind of said a little too loudly, oh, spare. How old were you? I was about 16. Here's the funny thing, they'd have, they had this chapel where they would go for like morning sermons and you'd have to get up at 7 a.m. every morning, so I'm just like... <laughs> there was one, there was one day where I was, um... I was woken up. I laid, I sat there as they were doing their sermon and I fucking fell asleep. <laughs> Sitting up, I fell asleep. <laughs> oh, I will be honest. I, yeah, sometimes I doze off at church. I'll be honest when I say this. Like I'm, I, I'm not an atheist. I, I do believe what I was taught at church, but I'm not as heavy-handed with it as most people are. You know? Yeah. Uh, like I could care less if someone told me they were an atheist. Who cares? I actually oh, pissed off some Jehovah's Witnesses once. They showed up at my door and I was, and they're just like, have you heard the word of our Lord and Savior? And I'm just like, no, but I was, I was half awake and half asleep because I had that, because I had a week off from work and I was enjoying it. And they're like, hey, have you heard the Lord, word of our Lord and Savior? And I just kind of grumpily look at them and I just go, no, please tell me though. I love hearing fairy tales. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think hey, you actually mentioned that before. I think you mentioned that before. They didn't, they didn't, they did not say anything in response. They just said, thank you for your time. And they turned very briskly and walked away. But yeah. I could tell from their expressions that I'd, uh, I would poked the hornet's nest. Yeah. Yeah. I've never, yeah, I'm, my, my family, my mother at least usually is not the type, like she, is of the mindset that, you know, the Bible is written by man, it's not written by God himself, so we do yeah. not know exactly what it, what he, he expects of us. I prefer, all we, I prefer all the, we, I prefer the God from Bruce Almighty, to be honest. For all, all we know, for all we know, homo, for all we know, uh, he, uh, guys who wrote the bible they just didn't like the they just they they had a neighbor who was gay and he had a boyfriend and they didn't like that so they decided to piss him off by including that you know as homosexuality is a sin you know you know what i find you know what i find funny someone uh i actually everyone was making jokes about the bible i'm like actually if you think about it the bible was written by some guy way back in way back when so if you think about it, Bible and conceptualized religion is the biggest fandom of a written piece of work in the world. <laughs> and my and my and everyone at work's like, "Holy shit, he's right." And I'm like, "Right?" <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> my de my grandpa are my grandparents though are the very religious type. In fact, I think I don't even. I think if it were up to my mother, she would let me make my my own decision. I think it's. Be, I think it's my grandparents that pester her and my father to get me to go to church. Because my grandmother, she, whenever I go over to her house, you going to church? No, like, no, maybe I don't know. Like oh, you should be going to church, you know. Like, now I'd see myself like, going to church, like, oh god, not after what my uncle and aunt put me through, fuck that. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm oh. imagining Zach when, I'm imagining Zach, it's like that TikTok Zach walking down the street, his local priest rolls up, have you been to church lately? I'm going this Sunday, how about now? I said this Sunday, how about now? Take me to church! Oh, I found <laughs> an LD organic product. Oh, there's an, 
Oh, hello. Yeah, it was rumbling here. Oh, they're it was doing... right on the table. I wonder what they're looking... What it's, what it's for, though. One out of a hundred... Oh, I'm not doing another one of those right. 100 shit. Fuck I'm not Ari, even this, looking for... Alright, Ari, on this anatomically correct doll, tell me where the priest touched you. Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't know if you I want to bring the story up again. I, I feel like I've told it so you many You don't times. need to. I'm, I'm, no one's asking you to. But I'm. But I'll be honest, like, I've kind of told myself when I move out and once I feel like I have my life in control, that's when I think I'll start going back to church, you know? Like, you go to church to feel good, right? You don't... How do you feel good if... How can you feel good at church if, you know, you're not... If life is being a piece of shit to you, you know? Oh, I hated my aunt's fucking religious phase. <laughs> I hated that fucking phase. Thank God it was like towards the end of my high school year, so I didn't have to put up with it. Was she... But fuck, I've it was heard, terrible. You heard of those stories of like... I feel... I've seen these on Reddit, like born-again Christians. Like people who were once drug addicts, and then they turn to the Lord... And, you know, they decide to force everyone in their family to follow what they do. I... I don't know what my aunt's reasons were, but it's like she took it way too fucking seriously. It's like she found religion as happiness, and then we all felt it. And it's like... My uncle obviously being married to her, he's actually, you know, he's gonna support her, but then you got me, who just doesn't give a fuck. He's like a high school kid going through his own problems, like high school cliques and trying to That's get through I'm grades and shit like that, and it's just like, got punished because I didn't want to go fucking see Passion of the Christ, so it's like, grounded for a month for that shit. <laughs> I'm never gonna understand what it is with people, like, like, my... My parents are, like I said, my parents are not straight. If I had to pick between my parents, my father is the like more likely one to the lesser impose. of two evils. Yeah, my the lesser of two two evil. My mother is the more laid back one, but my father is the one who would more likely be the one to. Oh, so your get, father's the less. I, the mother's the lesser of two evils. Yeah, I know. I said that I'm agitated with my mother, but honestly, my mother is a lot more laid back. With when it comes to church, than my father. And picture... Why do I picture the second you say it? I I know I say I'm angry with my mother. Why do I picture the second you say that she kicks down your door? It's like, bitch, you're talking shit, mama. No. <laughs> <laughs> More like she'd be standing outside, just staring at me. Oh, it's like man. so. So you're mad at me? Okay. What are you mad about? Uh, nothing. Oh, you started talking all that good shit a second ago. Ah, uh, fuck. There's the box. Whew, I'll never forget that car cut, that car talk though. That was that scarred me for fucking life. <laughs> Jesus. Ugh. I remember there was one time where one of my coworkers got in my face because they were they were a bit of a problematic employee, and this was when they around the time that management finally did something about them, but. I forgot what led to it, but he got on my face. He said to me, "Do do what I fucking say." He's like, "Do what I fucking say, or I do what I fucking say right now." And I'm just like, you know, I'm curious to see you try and make me. Like I actually said that right to his face. He puts his hand on my. He grabs my shirt, and I'm just like. You know, I'm in a good mood, so I'm just gonna say this once. Take your fucking hand off me before you lose that hand. And then right as I said that, one of my managers like, Hey! Let him go! You! In my office, right now! And I'm like, I'm like, you better... It's like, you better hurry. Master's calling you. <laughs> Walks away. <laughs> <laughs> he was fired on the spot because he made a scene in front of the customers. And <laughs> I'm just like... Yeah, I was about to say, no fucking way that he would have just gotten a warning. That would have been enough to get you, just to get you canned. Oh, well, the car's actually nearby. Should be pretty funny easy. Enough, funny enough, Tony actually said to me, he's like, I'm like, and he's like, you handled that pretty well. You could have done it a little 
glad you didn't haul off and crack him. I'm like, I was five seconds away from doing it. I'm glad you got involved. There was even a time, like, recently where one of the uh, cooks was getting in my face about not getting fast enough when I was running, and I channeled my inner soup Nazi, and I'm like, you're pushing your luck, little man. I think I go the other way around. I, I, I said in the most flat voice I could muster, just, you're pushing your luck, little man. And he's like, he immediately stopped talking. Where's the key? Bro, oh, there's the it. Just in 1993, with biceps I... big as oh. Goku's head. The heart right. I still hard. remember the time I nearly yelled at a customer to get out of the store. Oh. <sighs> this custom, actually, yeah, two times, you know, like I had this customer who was bi who was bitching and moaning. About how long it was taking me to finish, you know, what I was doing. You know, Ooh. I had a long line, and she's like, I, "Like, don't you have someone else you can call up?" I'm like, what? And she, and you know, I'm like, "No, like, well, I can, but she's currently stalking, and we only, and there's only two of us, you know." Fuck! Why did the game have to lag right now? Okay. <sighs> <laughs> We're driving, also... them, we're driving down the lane, and the fucking screen stops just as the truck is making its turn. And I'm like, God damn it, why now? There was, just... there was some nuts. There was some nut at our work one time. Like I think it was two years back. Fucking, this dude got so impatient for his food. He actually came in through the employee entrance in the back, walks into like where we in the dish pit start washing the dishes. He started fucking yelling at us to bring in the manager, and he's just like, Why the fuck are you guys taking so long? Uh, I'm just like, Oh, great, we got one of these people. It's one <laughs> of those. It, it, after, in that moment, you tell the guy, Alright, you wanna. Alright, while we do. While we go get him, you wanna do our job for us? Since, you know, this is on, employees only, so I guess you wanna do our job for us? Come on. We'll get paid. I actually, I actually got to eject someone once on Remembrance Day because he actually tried to steal... He actually tried to steal the donation box for the poppies. What the fuck? Gee, oh, come on, come on, man. Yeah, straight yeah. up, I was... I was walking out to get a Coke. I see this guy running over, walking over, oh, eyeballing shit. the donation box. How shitty do you have to be to steal a donation box for poppies? Yeah, for oh, real. That's... Come on. He didn't fucking care, he wanted the money. That's all he cared about. Nice. Nice, with minimal damage, too. People, Thank people you, Zach, for the help, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Yeah, no, no yeah, the best part... Yeah, the best part was, I, I actually got to work out some stress, because it was like... It was near the end of the night, everyone, we were closing up, and... He runs over and he fucking takes the poppy box, as I was getting a Coke, and... I immediately, like, I see a few people, like, seeing him do it, they're trying, I can see they're not acting fast enough, and I immediately run along the side of the counter, he sees me coming, grabs the box, starts sprinting, I don't know why I did it, but on reflex, I picked up one of the high chairs, which is made of solid wood, I chucked it, and it smacked him in the back, and the back of the head, and he dropped. Damn. It was a re it was a reflex, I just went, <laughs> and he just went, <laughs> Like, I actually, it's like, it was like one of those, uh, things from a movie, like, you, you heard him go, <laughs> and he dropped. <laughs> and he was trying to get up to grab the donation box, I'm like, do the smart thing. Holding the, as I'm picking up the high chair, hefting it like I'm about to smash him with it, I'm like, do the smart thing. He immediately runs out the back door, leaves the donation box. These are some <laughs> really good cars. These are cars I've stolen so far, Ollie. I still, oh, I like this one. I, really I think like the worst one. I have... That one was even fun. The Rosa Val I, Valor I was a, fun to collect. I had a Karen that I dealt with when I went to a Motley Crue Def Leppard concert. Oh? Basically, me and... Well, basically, this was a concert me and my dad were supposed to go to two years ago, but COVID happened, and... It got postponed for two years. 
Oh, we got you, to go. You were going to go see. You were gonna see. You were gonna see the crew. Yeah. And Oops. and so we we decided we do this every time. We always get a souvenir shirt, you know, like get one of those right. tour shirts. Well, it's crowded, and there's this lady who's up against my shoulder. She's sh shorter than me, but you know, you there's not wheels? a whole lot of space, and I am spot. trying my I'll best you to you know stay it's in one spot. You. And let me guess, she gave you crap for rubbing against her. Oh yeah, she's. Like, can you stop leaning against me and rubbing my my shoulder? I'm like, ma'am, what are you talking about? Like, I couldn't feel her, you know. I had about two layers on. I had a vest and t-shirt on. And even if I was trying to rub, even if I and even if I was up against her, I wasn't intentionally trying to, you know, brush up against her. I'm like, she's just, she's like, you know. Yes, you are. Now stop. I'm like, ma'am, stop, okay? I'm not doing anything. And then, so, and here's the other thing. I'm standing next to my dad. So, I'm going up, so me and my dad go up when it's our turn. She actually tries to fucking push me back from my dad. Wow, what a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, I what? Mean, gra grant granted, I don't, granted, she probably didn't know that he was my dad since we're both different skin colors. Yeah. Colors, but I basically shoved back. I'm like, back the fuck off, ma'am. Ma'am, that is my father. And my father even got in, like, stood, pretty much towered over her. Like, that's my son. <laughs> you like, touch my son, I break both your legs and leave you stranded. <laughs> my dad is not someone you want to fuck with, dude. He is 6'4". He's... Huh. He is... He is extremely tall for... For, for a man his age. I, I, so wait, she actually tried to shove you? Yeah, she tried to shove me. She tried to get in between me and my dad. Why? Because apparent, because apparently I'm not allowed to go ahead of her, because apparently I, she was ahead of me. I don't know. I don't fucking know her reasoning, but she pushes me, but yeah, she tries to shove me aside. I actually, I, ha that's when I have to put my hands on her and, Push her away. Be like, be like, don't. Okay, this is my father. I want to stay with him. Not, do not try to separate me from my father. I put said, don't fucking touch me. <laughs> well, you know, well, you know what I mean. I, I think I said something did, like did that. Did she, well, did she back off after that? She did. No. She, she muttered some, she muttered something along the lines of, like, keep your son under control. Yeah, fuck My that father. bitch. Fuck <laughs> that bitch. I actually was wondering if she was gonna come back for us later. Thankfully she did, cause there was the possibility of her just deciding to get revenge by pouring beer on us. And that has happened, I don't think I've told you guys. There have been some concerts I went to where people would be so rowdy that it's almost common to get beer spilled on you. From assholes, I imagine, yeah. Yeah, oh like, God. just people, like, drunk people who are just so excited that they'll start shaking their beer cups around, and it just goes everywhere. I remember I came back from a Metallica concert smelling like beer because I had two people who spilled their beers on me. And I was 17. <laughs> hmm. 20, I was 21 one time. My dad had a day off. We were at a liquor, we were at a liquor store at the time, and he asked me to go in again and sell some beer. My little brother and sister were in the car with us, and I don't know what it was, but it's just some weird shit happened, but, because I was walking out, next thing I know, I see Dad arguing with this gangly, this gangly fucking donor-ass, piercing, piercing-having fucking leather-wearing weirdo. And the, it's it's escalating pretty fucking hard. I'm just looking at it like the fuck, and I can see my little brother's yelling at the guy my dad's arguing with from the car. My dad's going between telling Jackson to, you know, settle down, go close the window, yelling at the guy for insulting, for insulting my brother and my dad, and then my sister, and it's just and his girlfriend's yelling at 
at and the guy's girlfriend's clearly yelling at my dad and at his and at the boyfriend to do something to him, like beat my dad up or something. It's like, come on, get it, get it. I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just standing there holding this fucking uh, the six pack in my hand, like, what the fuck is going on here? So Damn. I'm walking over. I see, I see this guy put hands We're on my dad. My go. dad's about to do something, and I put the six pack down run over, grab the dude's head, and I smack it into the of his windshield, which cracks. And I'm just like, you fucking touch my father again, you will not touch anything anymore. Comprende? Damn. And, and the fucking girlfriend's like screaming, calling me a psycho, and the boyfriend's like, Ugh. I'm just like, get in your car, forget our faces, forget my face, and leave. <laughs> I throw him to the I throw him to the pavement and he calls me a psycho and says my dad raised us to be in prison. My dad l sort of mock lunges at him. The dude scrambles into his car and peer and like fucking peters off. Like he just rips out of the fucking parking lot squeal style. Holy shit! Hey, you're gonna fucking mess with my family. I'm gonna beat the sh I'm gonna fucking end your life. There was one don't, time where don't get me wrong, like I they drive me insane, but I still love them to a degree. I don't. There was one time where this crazy lady from a special needs group tried tried to start beef with my dad. Just because. We were, well, here's what happened: was we were on in the city park, trying renting one of these cool uh, car styled bikes, push bikes. You know, where you oh, just Oh, those pedal. things, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, those things, well, I see them. They're pretty cool. I, yeah, well, my brother decided to be an asshole and basically do whatever the fuck he wanted. And, he had, and here's here's the thing. We had to get... We can only have that thing for a certain time. And if we went over the rent time, they would uh, charge us for it, and which my dad could not afford at the time. There's the other one. So, my dad... And I are pedaling while my brother is just trying to break the damn thing. And you know what? He o almost su he practically succeeded. He ran the chain on the pedals off. Are yeah. they in the are they in the house? Yeah, there's. I think yeah, that's where I found one of them. So yeah, and so my dad understandably was enraged, dude, because. You know, we're gonna be late, he's gonna get charged, you know, be all because my brother wanted to do his own thing. Mm -hmm. And this lady from across the parking lot apparently hears this and starts yelling at my dad, you know, about how he's an asshole for yelling at a special needs person. <laughs> this straight up, this this special needs person is my son. Back off. Yeah. I think I will admit there are times where I wish I did. I did that, but I, I sometimes I wish I didn't do what I did at the time. But I did it simply because I just wanted to enjoy my day with my dad. I think I was like 14 at the time. But I simply told my dad, "Let's go. Let's ignore this crazy ass bitch." You know. I don't want to. I don't want to spend a day fighting someone just yes. because they just because they're a loudmouth. I want to spend the day with with you, Dad. Come on. I don't want to fight this person. Good on you. So but we basically. I'm sensing so we basically, a bot. So well, all that really happened was like we get we fix the bike and we continue on our way. Meanwhile, she, this crazy lady, is screaming from the other side of the parking lot, trying to get us to continue arguing with her. Seriously? I'm not kidding! She spends a good five minutes screaming at us while we're trying to... trying to fix the bike. And she's not even within ten feet. She's on the fu other side of the fucking parking lot. So wait, she's just yelling at you for no reason. She's yelling at us because, oh, she's in a special needs group, and she sees... she sees a guy harassing a special needs person. That's... He, she needs to stand up for this poor kid because he can't defend himself even though, even though more often than not this kid's asking for it. Hmm. Yeah. I give it. I told, 
I told you guys the stories about my brother. Yeah, you guys... your brother's kind of uh, a little Shit, out there. Disturber. Dude, you, what? You, my, hey, Chris, my, you my grandma. How... My, my he nearly grandma choked out. He, to... Zach's brother nearly choked out his own therapist. That's how bad he is. <laughs> there was a. Yeah, I was a, yeah, that that. Yeah, his brother is exactly... more than just like, you know, not there. His brother can is. Kind of on his way to being heralded as a murderer. I'll just say that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hate to say that, but it's like... I will admit, it will make me... I will admit, if something does happen, I will be sorrowful because he is my brother, but at the same time, there are times where I'm just like, how much more sympathy can I hold for him? How many times can I say he doesn't know better before, you know... Kind of yeah, at that point, at that point, it's like the pity well has bottomed out. Yeah. Like, one thing, like, my brother actually nearly got himself kicked out of the house one time because of... Holy because shit. Because one thing you should not... I don't know if you have family that does this. I, I know people who have this, but... Fam, where, but he has this horrible, horrible habit of going... Of whenever there's a package that uh. comes to the house, even if it's not for him... He will open it and look at what's inside. If I may put a pause on that, Ollie, do you sell cargo at your? C do you have a CEO, Ollie? Like a CEO business thing? Yeah. Isn't it a federal offense to mess with the mail? Thirty-nine crates will sell for one point three two six million. If we can go, with, if, if we go, is. if we go get, if we get, if we get the last three, this thing will probably be one point five mil. I mean, I guess this if it's is fucking cool, dude. All right, let's go get the last seat crates. I want in. Cool. Yeah. yeah cool. I know we <laughs> shit on. Cool. I know we shit on Rockstar, but f this may be fucking ten years too late. But fuck, like it's finally nice to see this shit without having to like fight griefers, you know. Oh, go get your crates yeah, in a lobby full of madmen. Now it's like, hey, I could do it with a lobby with yeah, the company. Yeah, because the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, because the griefer's greatest weapon has been essentially defanged. Even yeah. if, I'll be honest, I think even if we didn't have to do this in private lobbies, it's now a much more doable in public lobbies now than it was before. Like... Since they nerfed, they nerfed the hell out of the aggressor this time. I saw a vid. Yeah, I, I think it's because they finally realized. Yeah, I think uh, we've let this go on long enough. We should probably step in before people start quitting. Yeah. It's like you see all these people complaining about how the oppressor is nerfed. And yeah, that, the missiles got, are and, slow too. And you got people who are telling these these people like you, yeah, like why are you upset? You can't go on a killing spree now. For real. And, and, are and you, the usual response is shut up. Uh, I'm never. I, you know I'm. I, I brought it up to Ari. I was like, why do people get so upset when people destroy your cargo? Because, like, off. they are right. It is just a game. You know, why worry about... It's also part of it's also part of the game's... It's built where it's like... They... That... They have a point. It's like... They want everybody to be involved. PvP. So it's like, you can't... If you're going to start this business, they don't want you doing it on your own like I'm doing it now. They want you to compete against other players. Otherwise, people will get bored and they'll be like, well, I don't want to... With everybody going to private lobbies, I can't go shoot things. So it's but like... I but at the same time, it makes progress so fucking slow. It's like... It's built that way to the point where... Okay, my shit's getting destroyed. Well... I can go and waste another three weeks and try again, look up ways to get a private lobby, or like a, an empty lobby on my own, or I give them the 30 bucks, I buy the shark card, and I buy the $8 million that I was supposed to get. You know, that's how their business model works. I've... It's well, like, yeah, but what I meant is like, like... So it's like it's when, people, when people get mad, they have, the, they have just reason to. It's like... It's like the same reason I got mad when somebody blew up my wagon in fucking Red Dead. It's like, I spent a month working on that shit to build up like a two, like the, it was a bonus week. I had a full cart. 
I had no help. Well, I, I remember uh, that night. I think I was playing a different game, and then when it happened, you we practically were... went full on. I'm gonna fucking kill this guy and his whole family. I think I, I got. I don't. I don't him? think that was the one. I remember just shutting off the game, like the moment it you blew up. I just. I. I completely. I shut off the PS4. Immediately restarted it, and it gave me my stuff back. And I and I I think I told Zach about it at the time. I was like, I was there, remember? Yeah, I was like, it, and there, I think it might have been. I don't remember what the conversation was, but one of you guys like was like, "Isn't that cheating?" And I'm like, "I don't fucking care." <laughs> like, no, no, no. I said no. I was encouraging it, and I I just said technically this is. Cheating, I was devastated. Like the hate was real though, because it's like. I had yeah, everything in a nice little bow. I was like, okay, I worked hard for that. I got the special pill for that. I'm going to make 500 bucks. And what happens? Halfway through the trip, guy comes along, sets it on fire, hog ties me, assassinates me, and I'm like, no. Fuck that. Reset. We're starting over. I'm not That's, giving him the fucking... I'm not giving him a smile on his face. Fuck him. But, but my point oh. my point being, like, these players, what they don't understand is what... Is they're not stealing the people's resources. They're not stealing people's, you know, hard-earned cash. They're stealing their time. Yeah. Because, yeah. You, as you said, you put a month into that. If you had lost that product, that's a month you're not getting back. Yeah. You're not, you're not you getting a month back. You need to ask yourselves this. They need to ask yourselves this. Do you think they care? They don't exactly. care. Yeah, that, they don't that, care. Exactly. You know. But that's why people should, would get mad, be though. Be I mean, like, the, your question is, like, why do, you get, why do people get mad when their shit gets destroyed? I'm like, well, that's the reason. Because, well... They well, work. They not... works. They they took the time off. They might, they might have been building up their cargo, like, on a sick day or on vacation. You know, they had Hang some... Hang on, we got thieves. Yeah. <laughs> Like, they had their friends do it, just like, all these little factors, and then what happens? Gone. Like, you know, one month, time I could have spent anything else just for one little bandito right, to I just fucking one. destroy it. It's just like, you the Bandito. The little childish Gambino. Yeah, it's, it's like... It's just like... Mmm. I've never... I, I know... We've talked about before, but I'm just... I'm never gonna... I actually... Actually, someone in a server I'm in actually is a proud, is actually a proud griefer. Like, I remember I talked, I was, it, we were talking about GTA, and then he casually brings up, like, you know, I really, I really hate the night shirt, you know? He's one of, hard. is he a good guy, though, like, despite he that? Seems like, he seems like an okay guy, but I'm just, that kind of caught me off guard. I was like, oh, like, I asked him why. Because it makes it hard to kill those people. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, yeah, that's the point. Oh, you might have to split up. Once I get this cargo or whatever, you'll have to yeah, take... Yeah, yeah, two. I, I mean, you two. could take him as long as you both are, you know, in this... Yeah. But yeah, it's like... I'm never gonna get that. I'm... What? I don't get the benefit. I don't understand I the reason. Oh, sorry, Ali, I didn't know. I thought they were in the car. <laughs> Here, I'll drive you there. Actually, no, okay. yeah, grab a car, grab a car. Because I gotta take okay. this to the warehouse. No, I, I, it was my, it's my fault. I, I rushed to get out. That yeah, was my bad. You know, I, 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 I remember that. Go ahead. I remember there was that one time where, uh, where I think I was playing a solo online. And some dude in a tank was, like, rampaging through the city, and everyone was, like, teaming up to take him down, and I managed to get the kill shot when I was doing my, uh, Terminator 1 cosplay on my chopper. And I fucking just roll up with these syntax charges. I keep smacking them on his tank on the flyby. <laughs> hmm. I'm just like, I'm just like, ah! Fly, drive away, explode. Tries to shoot me with his tank. I drive the other direction. Ha <laughs> ha! Boom. I swear, some of our best shootouts against griefers were on Red Dead. I think more so than GTA. On GTA, it's like kind of a losing battle. But like on Red Dead, some of the best shootouts that we've had against griefers or attackers are on that one. Either we chase them down and corner them, or we have moments where we're just kind of like, yeah, fuck off, you know, that kind of moment. 
Like the, I still think the one with Raz was the, the funniest one because he, he was he was he was starting shit, and then we just fucking we pinned him against the wall of the telegram room or the oh, mail you room. Mean that, you mean that time? That wasn't even. I don't even know if I would call that guy a griefer. Like he was. I think no, yeah, he wasn't so much a griefer that he was just kind of starting shit, and then we it was just we like, turned the tables the on him, and then we fucking the term, corner. The term he is was, shit disturber. Yeah. He was, it's, I think the better term would be, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I was already in a rough mood, and while I was hunting, this guy decided to shoot me across the map. And in that moment, I was like, alright, you know what? You wanna use me for target practice? I'll show you target practice, son of a bitch. <laughs> and I, I relentlessly chased this dude and his buddies across all the way to Rhodes, Raz and Ari got involved. We cornered these dudes in the train station, and they all dropped the game one by one. One of them even accidentally sent me a message that I think was meant to go to their friends. Like, shit, I gotta, shit, I gotta go to another session. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, it is I think, panic. He went to the wrong guy. Yeah. <laughs> I was just. I mean, granted, like I. I probably went overboard, but it's just like in that moment I was already. No, they got learn. It was, yeah, I was in a bad mood, and this guy just decided to shoot me for no reason. It, oh, yeah. You know, that reminds me, I had an interesting interaction on G on Red Dead today, actually. Oh. Uh, I was so gonna I say just... I was gonna say to Ari that um, I tried Mr. Shakedown online last night when I'm after I made him. I beat this dude down who had a level 100 and I was a level 99 mind you but I beat him down so hard he just he just went holy he's just like holy shit I think you just smacked the taste out of my mouth like like I, I floored him on the mat so hard he actually said I think you just smacked the taste out of my mouth According to Max, one of the new skins on Fortnite is made just for me. Oh. Oh. No. Nah, well... Is it's, it, it's a Fortniter YouTuber with a bear avatar, but it looks kind of dumb. <laughs> How dumb is it? It looks like a Care... Max put up the link. It looks like a Care Bear with, like, a JoJo stand of a bear. Yeah, nah. I need to see this. Is it gay? Is it in the Fortnite one? <laughs> yeah, it's in the Fortnite channel. It's the Twitter link. Oh, it's on yeah. Twitter. Okay. I was like, I mean, it's a bear, but it's a fucking it's ugly. ugly. It's a fucking ugly looking bear. <laughs> Ugly. <laughs> that, looks, uh, that looks ridiculous. Yeah, I'm like, nah. See, like when he said just for me, I was thinking like, okay, maybe it's MRS from Star Trek because there's a Star Trek rumor going around. Maybe it's launch from Dragon Ball. You know, I got that thing going. And it's like it's a bear. Uh, it's, a, it's a Care Bear with a hot topic looking JoJo stand. I'm like, no, uh, nah, nah, uh, not dro not not dropping the BP on that. Anyway, 41 crates for 1.4 mil. Let's do it. You guys oh, up yeah. for it? Yeah, that could be my last thing for tonight. All right, and then I'll hop on to wrestling after that. Here we go. This sale may require three delivery vehicles. Hey, well, I got three of my best buds. Let's do this. <laughs> it's being handled yeah, it's... by top men. Who? Professional. Men. My professionals. But, <laughs> but yeah, the whole... Um... But yeah, just the whole idea, like, it's it steals time, you know. I, oh, the what happened on Red Dead earlier, um, I just gotta talk about that. But half, basically, I ran no, into some players who actually, who I think actually off. recognized me from another Oh, time hello, we're direct. driving some fucking heavy artillery. And yeah, we're gonna have to use Trackify, the app on your phone, to locate... No, well, we got this in 30 minutes, we got... No, I don't think he means that. I think he means, uh... Yeah, the trackify, the one where you find the red dots. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's the one we used before, remember? I hate this app. Yeah, yeah, it's not the ideal way, but... 
It's Where's either the Giants Mansley. I mean, enthusiasm starts playing. <laughs> but yeah, like these guys, they recognize me. And while I was trying to do some brief shopping in Valentine, they all hung out outside the store. Like, like you better fucking stay in there. Oh god, I've had that happen. Really? Fuck, I've had that I happen. I decided. I decided. Okay, you know what? Okay, let's play the. I'll play your game. All right. I stepped outside. Here's what I did. I basically I stepped outside. I made sure my guy was hopped up on cocaine and moonshine. <laughs> you come out while you're you're like, okay, boys, we could settle this. I guy and drunk. <laughs> he walks out and he's just fucking drunk as hell. He's got the white powder on his on his his nose or whatever. He's just fucking like, but, yeah, okay, I boys, let's settle. I went, but yeah, I went outside. I. And use my shotgun, and I have the painted black uh, ability card, which allows me to focus all my shots wherever I can paint an X on. And I just annihilate these three guys bef before charging for my horse and just leaving. How'd that go? Uh, I, it works. They did end up chasing me. One of them did get a kill on me. Zach had that... three. Zach had three trophies to place on his wall that evening. <laughs> that was but just say they... that. <laughs> but let's. But I. They did chase me, and one of them did get a kill on me. But I kind of told myself, you know what? It doesn't do. That Wingus anymore. and Dingus. It. It's like I don't want any part in this. Like if they're gonna. I don't if want no gonna trouble. If they're gonna celebrate, you know, killing a guy who's truck who sh killed them and then took off because, well, he knew they were gonna kill him anyway. Yeah. You know, they don't now you really see, have. Now you seen that? Now you seen that scenario? It's the case of. It's the case of if you're gonna stay and fight like a man, kind of thing. Yeah, but it's like I just wanted to take it easy. I wanted to enjoy my the game. I really did not was not in the PvP mood. I go into Red Dead. Pre oh, sorry. I didn't. I didn't. I, I didn't see you there. You didn't see me. Ra ramming there, ramming speed. Here, let me help you with my ramming speed. Maybe ramming I'll... speed. <laughs> Ludicrous speed. Go. Ludicrous hey, speed. Hey, buddy, you're right in Whoa. the middle of the road. Hey, yeah. yeah. You're right, right in the middle of the road. yeah. yeah. Alright. Angry Italian man noises. <laughs> like they're from that other one. <laughs> I still I still what I still love that though, like after that? the tidal wave. When the tidal wave hits. Hey! Yeah. You're right in the middle of it, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I don't know why, but I want to I want there to be like an anim a short animation of Lord uh Lord Helmet but with Ari in his position, <laughs> where where he's playing with dolls. <laughs> I want that to be Ari. That's the part right here. Ari, what? You're needed on the bridge, sir. Knock on my door. Knock next time. Yes, sir. How much do you, you see? see Nothing, sir. Oh, no, I, I didn't see you play with your with your Barrett's action figures again. It's me, but Dark Helmet, but he's got the action figures are the created wrestlers for universe mode. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, put your put your creative wrestlers away. But I want to be the champion. <laughs> We're having a championship ladder match. Damn, I made bank. How much did you guys get for that? Fifty k. It's not. It's fine. How much did you make? One point four three five mil. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing this for a while. Like, I think How I have a. Re this take? This I, I was expecting a lot more. <laughs> like, <laughs> gee, it's not oh, like we way, had any oh, griefers way, e around. Oh, by the way, E. Cola won. Yeah, I'm proud of that. I actually bought the the varsity jacket when they announced it. I'm gonna I go really, I I'm honestly, glad. it was. I that was. I'll be honest. I was looking at that. I'm like, okay. I mean, I'm come on. It's Coca Cola. I mean, let's be real. Here. Coca Cola is better than Sprite. <laughs> no, Pepsi's better. Mm, nah, well, I'm, I'm, is, I'm a Coca-Cola uh, guy. Is, Pepsi is so much better. Dude. I support the red. I right hear Coca-Cola. Blue, blue is better. I catch the wave. I drink Coca-Cola. Which, 
Ollie, Cryptic, make your voice. Hello? What? <laughs> <laughs>